All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, or HaKadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and taught us this truth. Shalom also to the Akim pushing this word in sincerity and the truth, and to the speckled bird across four corners of the world, and to the few sisters who are listening to you, we say Shalom. Lord will, this will be an edifying lesson. You know, basically what we want to get into, you know, is how, a hey, Jake, especially on this side, and especially right now, man, right now, the times that we're living in, a hey, brother, bro, uh, a brother always says that I can't, hey, uh, right now, Jake, Jake is making money, man, right now that everything is going to shit, right now that the dollar is crashing, right now that the economy is going down, hey, there's a lot of Israelites that are, that are getting a bag, man, a lot of Israelites that they're popping out with all these nice things and they, hey they're, they're getting money out of nowhere man and my brother always says it hey, once you see uh, uh jake getting money which when i say jake i'm talking about you israelites you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans hey when, when you see jake getting money hey that's how you know we're at the end man because hey the, the scriptures say that we put our, uh, our 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 um our wages into a bag with holes man Everything that we do on the side, hey, you got to realize that first and foremost, we're in captivity, man. You know, and a brother always said, it, yeah, you're going to be broke. Yeah, you're going to be going through it, man. But that's part of uh, being uh, uh, in this walk, man. So, uh, uh, matter of fact, the first scripture I want to get is, uh, let me see, Constellation. Whoa. This is Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. And it is Yahweh Shai basically saying that you already received your comfort, man. You already received uh, 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 what you wanted on this side, which your comfort is most likely whatever, you know, you gained with those riches, man. Whatever you gained on this side, that's truly your comfort, right? Which our comfort, ultimately, it's going to be the kingdom, man. Our comfort is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And with that, it's going to take a lot of suffering. You're going to have to go through a lot of things. But at the end of the day, what, man? At the end of the day, <laughs> we're going to have the last laugh, man. It doesn't matter if what? If we're broke, if we're going through certain things. At the end of the day, it's better to what? Just suffer those things, man. Because at the end of the day, it says, Woe unto you that are rich, man. Hey, a lot of people think that their riches are going to deliver them. It says, uh, Proverbs 11 and 4, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. So that righteousness, hey, what we're doing in this work, man, which ultimately, hey, of course our righteousness are as filthy rags, but what uh, our righteousness is of Yahweh Shai, man. Because what, we have faith in, the, in this. We have faith in the, in the fact that we're doing this work, man. We're the hopeful elect, man. Brothers never claim that hey we're the elect. Now nah, we're hopeful. We're we're hoping, man. We're, our expectation is geared towards uh, uh, Lord will we make it out of here, man. That Lord will hey we get delivered, man. You know, but we're not trusting in no riches. We're not trusting in no uh, uh, none of that, man. Nothing that's physical on this side is gonna deliver you from what's about to come on this world, man. Everybody thinks that hey, you could get uh, you could get out of here with millions and billions of dollars, or buy your way out of this, buy your way out of this, but you can't, man. It says, um, you got a scripture? Uh, Come, it says, uh, Sirach chapter five. It says, Sirach five and one. Set thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, nah, I have enough for my life. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart and say not who shall control me for my works for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. And that's pride, man. That's pride to think that you're going to make it out of here by yourself out of this judgment, man. That's pride to look upon your goods and say, I have enough for my life, man. Hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord is, is going to require your soul, man. It says, it says, um. Verse 4, say not, I have sinned, and what harm happened, happened unto me? For the Lord is long-suffering, and he will in no wise let thee go. 
concerning propitiation be not without fear to add sin unto sin and say not his mercy is great he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins for mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation rested upon sinners and this is the point make no tarrying to turn to the lord and put not off from day to day for suddenly shall the wrath of the lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance so in your security when you think that hey you're straight you think that oh I, all these things that i've been doing the lord hasn't been paying attention hey that's not that's not so man you can't escape uh, the judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. The scriptures say that his eyes are, are everywhere beholding the good and the evil, man. So you'll be a fool to think that you could escape judgment, man. You'll be a fool to think that <laughs> that, that, that your security, your money, whatever you have laid up is going to deliver you from this judgment, man. That's why it says make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Because a lot of people, what they're doing right now, hey, they're getting a bag. Hey, like the scripture says, uh, uh, Israel waxed fat and kicked. Hey, hey, Israelites, they start to wax fat. They start to get a little bit of money. Then they forsake Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. They forsake the, 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 the power that delivers them, man. They forsake the Lord that ultimately really has a, 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 a rule over your life, man. Whether you want to believe it or not, man. Because the Lord, hey, the good and bad that happens in your life, that's through Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. So if you trust in those riches, hey, you're going to perish. You're ultimately going to perish in that day of vengeance, man. Uh, you get labor not for the meat was perishing. Uh, labor not for the meat. It says uh, John 6 and 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him has God the Father sealed. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, you know, <clears throat> like the brother was saying, um, a lot of things getting money, getting this, getting that. Um, that's the meat that's perishing, right? The scriptures, the scriptures say that the fashion of this world passes away. So our mentality, our energy is not uh, really invested uh, in this place because at the end of the day, we know that all this is going to perish and whatever we um, bring into this life, we're not going to take anything out, you know. Um, so that's uh, looking afar off. That's uh, seeing delayed gratification, right? Um and here everybody wants instant gratification uh the reward now right without uh really putting in the work for anything right people just want and feel as they deserve the whole world you know without putting in the work we're putting in the work for everlasting life uh, and being able to um actually enjoy and live life when we do get it right because here everybody's just um enjoying the pleasures of sin for a season we're looking at the uh at the long run everybody here is looking for the short for the short term and you know as the brother brought out you know riches deliver not in the time of wrath right but righteousness delivers from death and you know that's what we're practicing is righteousness that's right i'm gonna, I'm gonna get that scripture you quote it it says uh first timothy six and six but godliness with contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out and having food and raiment let us be there with content mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about in proverbs the 30th chapter it says uh give me neither riches nor poverty but feed me with food convenient for me right lest i forsake the lord and say you know who's the lord or lest i be poor and steal and break the laws you know, so we're supposed to be right in the middle, right? Uh, with our necessary food. Um, as it says in Matthew, the sixth chapter, you know, our daily bread, right? That's going to keep us uh, in our right mind and on the right path without getting disturbed. Because having all these things is going to sway you away. 
You know, as the brother mentioned, Jeshurun, wax fat and kick. You know, that's how we'll be if we had everything. Yeah. We wouldn't want to be doing the work. All right, we'd be wanting to enjoy whatever it is that we had and had and do all types of folly. All right, so that's why it's important to not have too much, not have uh, too little, but be balanced. And sometimes you're gonna get it, sometimes you're not gonna get it. Paul said, yeah. uh, I've learned to be a base and I've learned how to be a bound, right? To be grateful uh, in whatever situation that I am. That's what it's all about, all right? To be content in whatever situation that we're in, right? Because there's, there's a season to everything, right? A time to get, a time to lose, a time to gather, a time to cast away, all right? And you know, right now it's we're in captivity, man. You know, we're in captivity. We ain't supposed to be all blinged out like we got it in captivity, right? We gonna have the fullness of all of that in the kingdom, which is gonna be a million times better than on this side. That's right. And also with that, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Chakodash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the titles is truth. Shalom and a Baba Ba. Baba Ba.